I'm here at the Berkeley Shattuck Cinema waiting for my friend Deb going to see Seymour an introduction. Well, here's Deb. She just arrived and we're getting ready to go into the uh, showing that starts at 7.30, signing off. Hi, here's Julie, one of my piano students, and she was here for Seymour an introduction at the Berkeley Shattuck Theater. And I'm going to ask her what she thought of the movie. It was incredible, totally inspiring, and um, not only the music, of course, but just it was lovely to hear Seymour talk about music relating to life and just putting into words a lot of things that I feel already and feel about music and just seeing it come together very well then. I highly recommend it. Did it intensify your relationship to the piano? It made me want to go home and practice. So are you going to go home and practice? <laughs> well, it's a little bit late tonight, but I will certainly all day tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. Thanks sure. for giving me. Heath is Julie, my student Julie's husband. And he's in the field of movie making. So tell me from the perspective, first of all, of a movie maker, what you thought of the Seymour uh, introduction. Uh, I thought that it was a really beautiful film uh, and really just a beautiful portrait of an artist. I thought that uh, Ethan Hawke did a really good job of giving you the backstory on Seymour and really giving you an intimate uh, perspective on his life and who he was. Uh, not just through his life, but as, as an artist and as a pianist. What about how well it was knitted together? I, I thought the video editor, Anna Gustavi, did some amazing work, just like so many sort of different venues going from the I restaurant. I think that the, especially the editing at the uh, end there, going from the concert piece to in the apartment and uh, going back and forth between that was some of the most beautiful editing because when you're dealing with live music and being able to finesse the edit in that way uh, was really really exceptional and well done. I know and it struck me that the two pianos had to be both in the same tune, the 448. <laughs> right. They were absolutely synchronized <laughs> and, and also Seymour chose the same tempo to yeah. play the fantasy in his house, oh, yeah. which is yeah. unusual mm -hmm. for us to do an exact tempo as he did right. in the uh, concert hall at the Rotunda. Yeah. And certainly it takes a skilled editor to be able to match those two uh, together really well. So. Well, thanks again, Heath, for coming yeah, and also to Julie. What a pleasure to have a student and her husband here. Thanks again. <laughs> So Deb joined me tonight uh, seeing Seymour an introduction and naturally I'm going to ask her what she thought about it. What did you think about it, Deb? Well, I'm not usually a fan of documentaries, but I found this one to be much more captivating than many other documentaries I've seen. And what really got to me was Seymour's soul. His, his soul just shone through the whole thing. And I don't usually use new agey terms, but he was so spiritual, just truly that way. And I was also very impressed by his strong left hand. And it was really interesting when he was working with different students, and he would explain to them how they should play something, or what was wrong, and make them identify what they'd been doing wrong. And the, make the students say, well, it should go like this, but no, that's not how I played it, so I should do it differently. He's a great teacher, obviously, so I enjoyed it a lot. Well, thanks a lot, Devin. Thanks for joining me. It's a real pleasure.